Kaisho and Gunan. Hello, good morning from Basque Country. We have made it to San Sebastian and we got here by taking a five hour high speed train all the way from Madrid. To start off today, we're gonna go get some lunch, which will consist of some pinchos, which are Basque Country small plates. Mm -hmm. So, with that, let's go eat. So seeing that we have traveled farther north in Spain, the weather has gotten a lot chillier. I'm actually wearing a scarf, two shirts, I'm gonna put a puffer jacket on, and Chad is doing the same. <laughs> and we're actually really lucky because all of next week is supposed to be raining, and our Airbnb host was saying that this part of Spain is very similar to the northwest of the US, um, where it's kind of rainy throughout the winter, but we have the most beautiful sunlight today, and I'm so grateful that we have perfect weather. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, let's go eat. Bye, guys. just walked all the way to the outside of Old Town and we got our first glance at La Concha Beach and wow, it is glorious. Yes. I think that's like the best word that we can use to describe it. And the other thing is this entire city is truly glorious, as Claire said. Yeah. There are dogs everywhere, there are people with strollers and babies that are just living their best life. Yeah. The weather today, everyone's walking around with baguettes and bread. Man, I could not imagine a better place to live and a better place to park your boat yeah. if you're a sailor. It's so calm, the water Absolutely. here. This is this is paradise for sure. <laughs> so on the way over here, I noticed some graffiti stating that the Basque Country is not part of France and it is not part of Spain. And although technically the Basque Country is part of Spain legally, it actually has its own unique culture that has been around for thousands of years, predating the Spanish culture and the French. Um, and that's because they actually have been isolated due to the Pyrenees Mountains apparently. And some Something else so unique is that the language is actually the oldest language in Europe. So it goes back before French and before Spanish and all the other languages here. So it's pretty incredible to be here and knowing the history of this place. We have a beautiful spread of different pinchos for lunch today, but the very first thing that we got is a white wine that is specific to this region. This is called Chacoli, and it was highly recommended by our Airbnb host as well as our server. And then here are all our beautiful pinchos. We have some cold ones as well as some hot ones. If you want a cold pincho, you go up to the bar and you point at what you'd like, and the attendant will plate it for you and then hand it to you over the bar, and then you'll bring it back to your table. And then if you want a hot one, you will order it from the table. So it's kind of a mix of ordering from the bar as well as the table but I'm so excited to give these a try because not only are they delicious, but they look beautiful. All right, Claire, which one are you gonna try first? I'm gonna try this one because it has the cutest little egg on the top. It's like a miniature. <laughs> of different pinchos was a lot of baguettes with delicate cuts of cured meat and smoked fish and also a lot of cheese and peppers. It was so delicious. Yeah. Honestly, everything was so unique in its flavor, yeah. but it all paired very well. Mm -hmm. But now we are hiking to the top of Old Town and hopefully we'll get an amazing view of San Sebastian. Yeah. Over the 
past hour or so, we've been walking around the Bay Area of Old Town, admiring the teal color of the water. It's the perfect in-between of green and blue. And something that I really have loved is just how remarkably quiet it is here. Everyone's conversations feel like whispers and you can't hear what they're saying unless you're right next to them. And as an introvert and someone who appreciates moments of quiet, San Sebastian has been providing me all of that and so much more. So we've hiked to the top of this hill that looks over all of San Sebastian and something that has been mesmerizing me today is the light here. I suppose because it's winter time, it is now coming at this incredible angle that makes everything just look so much better. It's a lot softer of light versus the harsh light that you get in the summertime. But on top of just the lighting, there seems to be this like mist in the air. So it's giving everything this incredible glow and I just can't stop taking photos and videos. And Claire keeps on telling me that if I'm going to keep taking so many, I need to inform you guys and talk to the camera because otherwise it's just going to be endless montage of b-roll. I didn't realize that I was in the background of that video but I am having so much fun walking through what feels to be heaven. <laughs> We've made it down the hill to La Concha Beach and we're just enjoying the afternoon sunlight and thinking hard about where we want to go in 2022. I actually posted a question over on Instagram asking where you guys want to see us go in 2022, especially in January and February. So if you want to leave a comment here on this video about where you want to see us go, that would be really helpful because we're starting to plan for the following year. Uh, we definitely need some suggestions on where we should be going next. We have now left Concha Beach and we are walking to our dinner spot. It's actually our Airbnb host number one restaurant here in San Sebastian. So I'm so excited to give it a try. We arrived at the restaurant. It's currently six o'clock PM and we somehow forgot that we were in Europe and they dine way later. The restaurant doesn't even open until eight o'clock. So we're just gonna wander about until dinner time and maybe talk about our future or something, something like that. <laughs> We've been talking about our future for the past two hours, just trying to figure out what we want life to look like. Obviously, we still don't have the answer, but we are very excited for our meal tonight, and we're walking there now. finished up dinner at Zazki and it was a thousand times nicer than what we were expecting. It was mm -hmm. almost like really fine dining, but yeah. the prices were actually very affordable at the same time. And so because it was like a nicer restaurant, the portion sizes were a little bit smaller. So we're still a little bit hungry. Mm -hmm. And so we might go and get some more pinchos. What mm -hmm. do you think? I think we should, yeah. We'll wander and see if there's anything that catches our fancy. Yes. Otherwise we will head back to the Airbnb. Yes. We have found a Pinchos place and we've got four different types. And the way they can tell if a Pinchos place is good or not is basically by how many people are in there, very obviously. And this place is busting full. And also, we got some dessert and it's a huge slice of cheesecake. It looks very fluffy and I was eyeing it when I came in. We are currently riding an escalator up to our Airbnb just because that is something that San Sebastian has. Very random, but perfect for if you overeat like we have. We <laughs> under ate before, then we went to another place, over ate. This happens all, all the time. But with that, we're gonna carry our heavy bellies up to our Airbnb <laughs> and call it a night. So we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good afternoon. We've had a late start to the day because we got to figure out a couple of business things, but we are now heading out because we still have a couple hours of daylight left and we're going to Mount Igeldo. I think that's how you say it. And it's supposed to give us some really beautiful views of San Sebastian.
So yesterday we were over there. There's a the little island and we are going over there. I can see the little cable car line. We have made it to the top of Mount Ugeldo and I had no idea that there would be an amusement park up here. I thought we were just going to ride the cable car up and then we would get some really nice views. But there are so many rides here and it's literally perfect for kids. And as I said earlier in this video, San Sebastian has a lot of kids and so it's just kind of fun watching the kids have a good time and watching families have a wonderful day out because it is the weekend here. Um, and again, I'm just so appreciative of the great weather that we've been having. The sun came out today and wow, no rain in a time that's supposed to have a lot of rain. So we're really lucky and the views are truly astounding. So we're walking around this place and there are so many different things that we can do. I think I might splurge and choose one thing that we'll spend money on doing, but we gotta find the perfect one. So after walking around, I think I've decided that we're gonna do the little boat ride because that was the first thing that we saw when we came up from the funicular. And there was a whole family in it and they were super, super happy. And we were just like, wow, we want that too. So we're gonna pay the two euros per person and ride the boat. Wow, look at our boat. Whee! Wow. Whee! Dark. We're in a cave. Wow, it's very dark. Wow, that's cool. Peter Pan! <laughs> and a topless mermaid. <laughs> Two of them. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Wee. So we saw a gorilla, Peter Pan, and two topless mermaids. <laughs> Worth the two euros yes, for person. <laughs> Worth the two euros. Glad there was some sort of surprise in there though. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> Well, today is our last day in San Sebastian and I already know that in the future we're gonna bring our kids and we're gonna spend a whole summer here, three months just enjoying the beauty that the city has to offer because we have really fell in love with everything that San Sebastian has. Um, but with that, we're gonna head down the mountain because it's getting dark and the last cable car is leaving pretty soon. And I think we're gonna get some more pinchos because it's our last chance. <laughs> All right, we got our last pinchos of the night and our last pinchos in San Sebastian. All right, round two. Round three. San Sebastian. We had such a great time here and I feel like when people think of Spain they go straight to Barcelona but really they should be going straight to San Sebastian because it is quite wonderful. I think we had such a great time here because we had a really good Airbnb and Airbnb host. Mm -hmm. We don't normally do this but we're gonna link the Airbnb that we stayed at down below just because they had really great recommendations and we also had a really nice view from our balcony here, so. Not to mention they have super cute dogs. Oh, and a very cute baby. <laughs> so if you're interested, um, it'll be in the description box. But we actually are leaving bright and early tomorrow morning. We have mm -hmm. another train to catch to yeah. a new city here in Spain. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely a lot more adventures to come. And if you want to follow along, definitely hit subscribe. And with that, we will see you guys next time. Bye.